Here we are. Welcome, everybody. Back. We're back after a month off. <laughs> uh, we're Bears and Dragons. A bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. There we go. I got me some new internet, so we'll see how that works with the, the streams. Uh, like when I did a speed test, I found my upload was faster than my download. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing is my download was still faster than my previous internet. So here we oh. go. Yay, Google Fiber. That's a positive. Yeah. All right. So it's been a while. Uh, we had a few, uh, with a few things happening. Uh, last week I was sick, so we couldn't make up for the previous week. So, uh, what happened? What happened previously on Bears and Dragons? What was the Wayfaring Stranger was up to? I remember, I remember the end. <laughs> yeah, I remember we came upon a ghost. Hunts for a Medusa, I believe. Uh, we came across a yeah ghost. We had found a few things in a chest, I believe. And there were some other happenings with uh, the increasing ooze population by one of the demon lords, but no one seems bothered by it, so we dropped it. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, that's all I can recall. There was a ghost that suddenly straight up said, They're coming! Everyone hide! And then fleed, and you, uh, checked under his bed and found that, uh, I believe there's a pouch of six gems. And, uh, potion of visibi visibility, I think is the way found. Yeah. Chat. Five gems, potion of visibility. Should be six. And you guys were down here. I'm using Jim Jim Jar as my yep. group our group token. Yes. Since our mascot left us. Well and uh, us. Jim Jar is kind of like the I mean this is his home, so Alrighty, so we were on the hunt for Medusa. I remember we had mirrors that we bought to peek around the corners. I remember we were rolling perception checks to try and hear for it so we could at least try and not get snuck up on and turn us down. And I believe we have some sort of way to turn us back if we do get turned into stone. You know, we had gotten uh, some blood. I can't remember. We have word. a scroll of remove curse. Slowly coming back to me. So, after the ghost popped out and said that, we found the pouch with all those items. Um, what happened after that? I don't remember. I think we ended it there. There was a, something else after that, or it was just that's exactly where we stopped. Uh, the last thing I remember is typing what I typed in the chat. We found a rotted pouch, and then you typed 
that out, obviously. <laughs> then we end it. We came from up this way, I believe, and we're coming down this way. Did we check this side yet? Uh, no. Which, which uh, aren't those gates being guarded? It gates was these gates, I believe. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Yeah, I think we had just started going down and being stealthy, and then we found a ghost here. So, do we know if we've been in this area yet? I guess technically it's not guarded until we get to these doors. I think we just haven't gone that way at all. Would y'all be interested in snooping? Sure. I'm here to explore. Yeah. Jim Jar's with us, right? Yeah, everyone's with us. Yeah. Uh, are you okay with it, Jim Jar? I'm sure. Can I call you Jim? Oh. Uh, I suppose so. Cool. If he's Jim, then we'd be the holograms. No, it's no, the best job. time that I give you guys up, like nicknames. So, just be ready for those. Be ready to decline it. So, if we approach these doors, what do we see? Uh, you approach the doors, and they seem to be the uh, <clears throat> jammed shut. Try perception, see if there's someone behind it or anything else we can hear. But chunk, 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 chunk. And uh, it seems like there's something blocking the doorway. Oh, it's, it's a Silent Hill puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh... actually, <clears throat> amendment. Uh, it's a it's not even a door, it's just like a steel wall. Can we knock? I'm not going it. Tung, 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 tung. Oh. Anything? Nope. I don't think anyone's on the other side. If they are, they're pretty silent. And maybe I'm misre misremembering. Are these pools of water kind of oozy too, or just water? Uh, Here, let's find out. Firebolt. What if it's oil? <laughs> uh, it appears to be just water. I guess want to move down to this area? Yeah. Yeah. Let, yeah, let's explore where we can first before taking care of these doors. Did you find a waterfall Still... which looks like to be fed by an underground freshwater stream pours about 100 foot diameter 10 feet deep pool that dominates the east end of the cavern? Blanking the pool are two rough-hewn staircases that climb about 30 feet to an overlooking cave. I splashed my face a little bit just to get a little refresh. Am I still controlling the gym jar? Uh, we all have, we all have access. access. Yeah. Um, this last, last game I did it. Um, so I, I thought we were taking turns, maybe. Oh. If you want to control it, go ahead. Okay. But I will, in fact, join Karad in splashing my face. While they're doing that, do we hear any sort of movement around um, us? No, you still hear the echo. Uh, you, another thing is you also hear the echoes of battle, which always seems to be in the darkness beyond the range of your character's light. 
Oh like, yeah, that's right. That's why we were following that ghost, I think, because we heard battle sounds. They're more distant, so originating from somewhere else. No. Like far off battles. Did the ghost that we see, was it dressed in, like, battle armor, or was it wearing something? No, it just looked like a uh, regular deep gnome. Okay. Uh, it kind of reminded you of the uh, skeleton that you found in the room when you followed it. Not that the ghost was a skeleton, but, like, the clothing... Yeah. On the skeleton. It's, it's, it's Spectre. Okay. Uh, let's go up the steps. See if there's anything on that little plateau. I think this is where you were talking about. Mm -hmm. no. A shallow, swiftly flowing stream bisects cat cave. Crystalline formations sprout from the floor on both sides of the stream and erupt staircases on the back of the cave on 30 feet to a barren stone ledge with a pair of winged statues perched atop of it. History or religion check? Hmm. History or nature? Or Arcana. Arcana we were too. Okay. Um I mean based off of their features they could be just statues. I mean from the distance where you are. But they could also be gargoyles. Ah. Is there guys... anything around them? Like if they're guarding something. Uh, you don't see anything? Uh, get, yeah, give me a perception check, actually. Uh, nothing that you can see. I'm assuming you're in your to... distance and just, like, seeing these things. Oh, yeah. I'll point it out to the rest of the group. Do you see those two statues? Like, I'm not sure if they're alive or not, but... You're giving me a weird feeling. Uh, yeah. Why is that? Know. They seem kind of lifelike. I don't. I just. I don't trust it. I just kind of be like, are are gargoyles magic? I would assume so. Maybe. Uh. Syrah, with your arcana, uh, I would say that they, they're not, m like, magical, like, as in constructs, but they're elemental-based. So, yes and no. like, if you're trying to dispel, you can't dispel a gargoyle. It's uh, like trying you... to dispel a dragon. So, yeah, no, it... but you can't dispel, so. it's more of a detect magic. Type of thing. No, you probably wouldn't necessarily be yeah. detected with the detect magic. We know, we know that that would work. Okay. Uh. Well, uh, I pick up a rock feature. and throw it at one of the statues. One. All right. Give me a. Um... Sorry. Give me a range attack roll. Uh, it, it's got to be like a bird or something like that. Is, but... 
Shit. Uh, just wanted to see if you hit it. Uh, can I just, you know, do a dex roll or something? Mm -hmm. Or I don't have any ranged. Yeah, you're not really proficient anyway, so you would be dexterity. Dex check. Was that a natural one? Oh my god. You just got kind a of live like one. Yeah, it, yeah, huh. And you just kind of like toss it and goes bloop right into the water. We Don't will uh, ignore what just happened. <clears throat> and I will try again. Maybe you were just bored and just kind of like tossing rocks, you know? Yeah. Like maybe oh. no one even realized what I was doing. Uh, I'm gonna try again. Oh, <laughs> that was a, this that was time you're like, okay, it can't be half uh, harder. It so you just kind of like fling the rock, and it goes pink uh, against one of the uh, statues, and you hear it, and the it, stone wings start flapping. I'm so sorry. Start uh, winging, and I'm the sorry. other statues. Wings start racking, we and know there's now. a big roar. And uh, I go invisible. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> need everybody to. I'm gonna have to. Uh, do I have a mini or two map because this map's not good enough for. I like how you beat you beat him with a rock in his face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I regret my decisions. But Hello? I have time to go invisible before initiative. Um, I feel like it would be like an instinct thing. No, he's being a he's, he's being a gnome chameleon. They, they already can. I'm stunned on gnome a dwarf. Fuck right. this shit, I'm out. Mimic this relative design and straw this. Honestly, I don't even think. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be a really bad drawing. But, yeah. mm. No. I don't think Lasser really know what gargoyles are. Oh, excuse me. Walls. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that he's afraid of the undead for a reason, so maybe I don't know. Alright, I was gonna sneeze, but apparently I cut it off the path. Okay. Alright. So Effort was made. Yep. And I love you. No, no, I don't want that. Oh, do you want us? Uh, kind of setting everything up here. We get that. Rack her up. Who's all with us? Everyone. Ah, okay. That sums everything up. That wasn't sarcastic either. That really did sum everything up. Sometimes we're really good at that. Have a gauge. And of course we got our remaining NPCs. Okay. Definitely next to last mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. No? Kind of? 
Oh, no, that's all. I don't need to. Mm Almost. Did the rock do damage? I'm just kidding. No. It was just hell. It's <laughs> never nothing. Uh, so. Ooh, it's pretty good for Durandal. Not so great for Runt. And we'll gauge. Uh, nope. Uh, that's a great for gauge. Pretty good for you. Not bad. Not terrible. All right. Well, this gets to go first. He's just gonna come up here and kind of ready in action to attack something if it uh, gets within range. Yarn. Come over here. I check. Garandel, like the the NPCs would beat you all out. I'm gonna come over here, just wait for something to get close. Lyra. So I'm gonna take a page out of uh, Karad's book. I'll begin my blade song, and then as I start to move forward, I will cast on myself. Greater invisibility. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all I can do. Next. There we go. Invisible. Holly. She's going to go ahead and there.
This is like, this is a scary island. Yeah. I, I figured as much. Just gonna wait right there. Uh, ready in action to uh, attack if anyone gets close. Any All enemy right. gets close. Fireball. Originating right here. It's a one and two. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, and really nope. So, 35 fire damage. And then I'm going to spend two sorcery points. Um, get to quicken cast or quicken use, I should say, uh, invisibility on myself. Uh, you cannot. You've already used a. You already cast a uh, leveled spell already. Oh, yeah, it has to be a cantrip. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to quicken the cantrip to do some extra damage or something? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I'll go ahead and quicken cast a firebolt at uh, this boy. That'll it. Well, 16 fire damage. Does it get to 16? Yeah, because anytime I... It's... Well, hang on, let me double check that. The elemental affinity does yeah, that once per right. turn? Yeah, it's um, whenever you cast a spell that deals damage of the type associated with your Draconic Ancestry, you can add your Charisma to one damage roll of that spell. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a limit, but yeah, just one roll. Uh, that gargoyle is not looking good. Looks really crumbly. Master, yeah, I'm ready to. I am going to send a Eldritch blast towards the both of them. First one, twenty-seven to hit. Oh, hit. 11 damage. And the second one. 13? That will miss. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're doing top down, right? Say that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, And as a movement, I'm gonna go chill Jimjar. Uh, one away from him. Yeah, you know where That's he is. Oh, do I not? Is he invisible? No. He just okay. did a, he, he just did a stealth check, and your passive is higher than what he rolled. Oh, okay. Because you're very observant that way. That's right. my turn. Ront. Is gonna come up with your here with all and do the same thing, just ready in action to, to attack them.
Oh, fine, we're here. This one's gonna do... Uh, some weird thing. Gage looks at the gargoyles, says, uh, okay. is it okay if they get away? They seem to be Are running. We, can we talk on, not on, not on our turns? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's okay. Siren? Oh, sorry. I can't Sarah. say Siren. <laughs> I don't see an issue with it. Well, as long as they're not getting help. Well, they look statue-like. You think they have, like, the brains to go get help? I would like everybody else, everybody to make me a perception check. Uh, when you say everyone else, did you mean, like, everyone that's Just not everybody. talking? Just everybody okay. make a perception check. Oh. Hey, everybody. Here. Okay. Uh, Lassiter, uh, you do sense that, uh, uh, some sort of rumbling in the ground. Uh, Jimtar's uh -huh. probably going to think feel the same thing as well as Eldith. Uh, Syrah, uh, you're also thinking well, something is coming. Uh, um, something's coming. They're running. Guys, I think something else. something worse is on its way. Eldith is just going to stand her ground and wait. Uh, same for Jimjar. Uh, Darendel kind of ready position. Thyra? I back up against the wall and ready a dodge. Or just dodge? Yep. Yeah, the dodge. That's fine. Too. The last time yeah. next turn anyway, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. Holly? Staying ground and ready in action to attack. Brad? Go invisible. All right. Lasseter. You think it's something over in this direction. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll stay where I am, and I will ready an Eldritch Blast if it seems hostile. Hostile. All right, Ron does the same, and then coming up from the ground, <laughs> the big old earth elemental. I would say that seems hostile. Okay, I think I'll put. Keep forgetting the uh, keyboard trick. I forgot. Uh, is that, is that it? There, yeah. Something like that. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> Go up and pet it. <laughs> it will come closer to Holly. Uh, can, can I get off my Eldritch Blast? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, both of them. Or do you want me to just do one? I don't know. Uh, well, uh, casting Eldritch Blast then however many bolts you have so right um well i guess i could roll them both but None. i did not mean to do that but 15 to hit i guess this uh, is the first, first one hits. six damage for the first one oh yeah you only uh, got the one you only got the two bolts right yeah uh, and the, the 15 only one hit. misses. Okay. And it hit. Well, it hits because it's such a large creature. It hits, but it doesn't seem to 
it angle or something doesn't seem to do any damage. It just goes poof. All right. Who is else that is like, it? You came close to Holly. Mm hmm. So she would get her reaction. Yep. Oh, that's going to whiff. Yep. Just kunk. Run. Do anything. Seems pretty solid. Uh, anybody else have ready actions? That would work. I was dodging. Okay. All right. Elemental. Uh, does a couple of slam attacks against Holly. Is not uh, raging. Nope, she is not. Oh man, please. So, 20 hits Holly? Yeah. That's what I thought. Take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. And a slam attack to 17 hit? Yeah. Yeah. So... Total of 26 points of bludgeoning and damage. So another 12? 14. Two 14s. How's that 26? 28. Excuse me. Math wrong. <laughs> I was like, that's not 26. What? Uh, I I uh, had just had alcohol today that I haven't had in over two years. So brain's a little fuzzy, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blame it on the alcohol, baby. Right. And yeah, that's it. Gargoyles, uh, run. Just gonna disappear. Gage. Oh, who just disappeared? Uh, oh. The gargoyles just ran. Or, oh, or, or oh okay. Of, combat. <laughs> Gage is going to come here. Yeah, he's just going to attack. Oh, there you go. That one hit. Seventeen it's... points of damage. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. No. Yeah. Well, seventeen. Only twelve. Or twenty-one. Or twelve. He does not do an extra five damage for radiant. radiant so. He's okay. only doing it one-handed because of reasons. Uh, Elders. Yeah. Back with the long sword. Miss and miss. Jink, jink. You'll get him next time. Jim Jar. Uh, there's a dagger. At the creature. Hit doing not as much damage. Like, uh, shit. Here, that goes ahead and goes hiding in here.
We're going to make a claw attack. That'll hit. Don't put the damage. Doesn't seem to do as much damage. Uh, he's going to spend a key point. One key point? How many? Yeah. Warrior blow is just one. I haven't played him up. Yep, just one. He's going to do flurry of blows. That'll hit. He's going to use his open palm technique to force him to make a dexterity save. Oh. He fails. So Darendel comes up and he goes, slashes with a claw. Then he pushes his hand against uh, the uh, elemental <laughs> until seeming to do, do some damage. And then he falls. Uh, but knocks it on its ass. So it is currently prone. Which means, for a second flurry of blows, he gets advantage because he's, uh, because he's prone. It does some more damage. Lyra. Even though she is in. Hmm? Oh. By the way, you're about 30 feet up. From where all this is happening. So if I, I don't say if I leap down, I'm gonna take some damage, I guess. But uh, I will give you a dexterity saving throw to to have that. I hope you're not wearing heels. These tunnels never. <laughs> ah, screw it, it's fun. So even though she's invisible. I will acrobatically leap down to pierce it on its ass while it's prone. Okay. So give, me a, give me an acrobatic check. Let's do that. With advantage, because I am blade singing. 26. You take absolutely no damage. You just, you elegantly, even though nobody can see it, uh, do a, a, a nice uh, somersault flip. Uh, down onto the ground, landing right next to the, the elemental. Ollie felt nowhere. it spiritually. Then <laughs> from nowhere, just here, stuck to landing. And she you will attack. Oh, he's prone, flanking. I'm invisible. <laughs> I have all the advantages. <laughs> You've got advantage. <laughs> so... There is always one. reason. There's a ton of reasons why you have advantage right now. All the reasons. I don't. I don't suspect that uh, you will last long. Oh, oh no! I crit. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with, being, with critting. You got a magical blade there. My, you forget you what my sword about? does. Oh, hey, cool. Forget <laughs> right. yeah, it's a polymorph blade. Uh, I, I will Forget. definitely say, also, he still takes the damage, so what's the total damage? 18... Uh, here, let, let me just... 18 plus 14. So 42. No, yeah. 
13, 14. The nice thing about this, I just let it do the math. I just do minus 10, minus 8, minus 6, minus 8. It's 32. All right. All right. Here comes, the roll Here comes a D20 roll. <laughs> Does it give a save on this? Just ignore no. that. But it's a 10 for the roll. That was a 10. 10. Yeah. Okay. So that means it turns into, brace yourself, a crocodile. Crocodile. Just a regular crocodile, right? Yep, just a crocodile. Okay. I'm just gonna. I don't move. know if I made this. I made this worse or better. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna move this here. Uh, well, I get a. If it's an Australian crocodile, they're fucked. This poor Alimonzo got knocked on its ass, polymorphed. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> I mean, it stays the same size, I suppose. Terrified of this, of this whole creature she's created, she will pierce it again. Eight damage. Mm -hmm. That will be it. I mean, you gave it 19 hit points. That's basically what you got. Yeah. <laughs> I extended its life. <laughs> yeah. You're like, that was a great attack, but shit. Oops. Holly! Uh, Rocket Elemental was just pushed over by Prince Darendel, and then all of a sudden, it turns into a crocodile. <laughs> you don't know how, because you don't see what did it. <laughs> Either way. Like, well, there was like a <laughs> sound of... A, of little, a... a little green blade, and then you hear and you heard something about Cyrus Cyra saying something. You know it was like a tink is. and like a little, a little fire effect, and then it just poofed into a crocodile. <laughs> Either way. Uh, it, it, it's time to get mad. Okay. So you're a raging. Oh. And... What? I would need a... Well, since it's prone, it automatically fails the deck save, right? Mm. Hold on, prone. let me double check prone conditions. Uh, prone, prone condition. Creature has disadvantage. Yeah, I think it might only have like disadvantage in position. Go away. Uh, prone. Uh, character is disadvantage on the character is disadvantage on attack rolls. The attack rolls against the creature have advantage if the attack is within five feet. Otherwise, the attack rolls the prone creature's only movement option is to crawl unless it stands up in there. But nope, it still can do it. All right. Well, I need deck save. Okay. It makes it. Yep. Despite having no bonus, <laughs> they rolled a crit. These three lightning damage. And we go on a reckless. Right. How did it take three lightning damage? Or one, sorry, one. One? Okay, so it doesn't take. Yeah, it still takes half. Okay. Attack number one, Great Weapon Master. That's not going to hit. Big or, it's, 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 with, it's with advantage. So one sec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll again. Still not going to hit. Oh, nope, he, he's a crocodile. That hits. No, still minus five. Oh, yes. That was ten. So, ten so. so, attack number two. We're still going to do Great Weapon Master. Yeah. Um, uh, one sec. That was uh, 17. Plus eight. Yeah. yeah. 17. 17 will hit. Uh, 27. Okay. 
So that's. <laughs> and in terms of your rock elemental again. There you go. Is that all of her attacks? Yeah. She only has two. Alright, Crad. Alright, your, like... your teammates are surrounding the creature as far as you know. Uh, You're currently regularly invisible. Yeah. Let me go over here. And then I'm going to shoot a firebolt, which will just be a normal roll, because technically prone has disadvantage, but I'm, but I'm invisible, so I would have advantage. Sir. And then as the firebolt leaves, he's going to snap his fingers, use a throw three point, and transmute it to thunder. So it'll be 13 thunder damage. So he shoots a fireball, snaps his fingers, and the fire just kind of disappears, and there's uh, you can barely see like a wave of uh, uh, like the air vibrates. <laughs> And it crashes into this, this elemental line on the ground. Ground. It seems to do a little bit more damage. Um. That's all I'm gonna do. Lassiter. Everybody's getting it up on a earth elemental. I. <laughs> Excuse me. I am going to cast Sacred Flame on it. Hey, I need a deck save. 16. Fails. It takes 7 radiant damage. Uh, yep. Bonus action. I am going to inspire Jim Jar. You know, you really should really get out there and pummel that thing. And that's my turn. Alright. Ron, pop oh, oh. over here. Uh, maybe he comes over here. The sure flanking, although bell prone. Right, so I'm gonna help with that. <clears throat> Stomp it out. Both hands. Hits. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Nine points of damage. And that's all the attacks he has because he is not that high level. Earth Elemental. Not dealing very well. Stands up. He's going to you. Oh, whack at the last guy that hit him. Whacks at Ront. Mean. Eh. Eh. damage. Wait a minute. Ront is great. Front did range. I'm gonna just say that. So actually, God, he's a barn. In rage. Um, I don't know if you're ignoring her or not, but uh, there was nine more damage to that attack. It was a crit. No, it was from the crit from the other side. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh, and he's going to make another attack against Front. Whoop. 
pits. Don't count paint. Not the front being a being barbarian. You can take it. Boom boom. Slam by your elemental. Gage. Eventually here we'll Hmm. Um, didn't have anybody across from him. Great roll. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, despite being a, it seemed to be a radiant blade, uh, he having trouble cutting. There you go. That hits. No, uh, but it only had one hit point, so. He slices right through the elemental and seeming to get get its core, and it kind of falls. Into the ground. Defeated. Do 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 do. Yatta. Uh, um. I know it's a long shot, but did it try to say anything to anyone before we killed it? Nope. It, oh, fuck it. It just it's like, it's an it's an earth elemental. Uh, I'm gonna do a arcana check. Have we encountered elementals in this adventure at all? Uh, you might have seen some a uh, few in uh, Grackle Stooge. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, I think there has been some explanation around here that they have used Earth Elementals before. Oh, right. We got a rock that... No. Was that another game? I think that was um, Tyranny of Dragons. Oh. Okay. Good times. Dog kill. New new character. New. I I, I, I didn't say I didn't say Blaster was. I said you were. Difference. Anyways. So now you have a dead earth elemental. Uh, any gems come off his body? Just for happen, happen chance? Oh, I, I was waiting for somebody to ask. So looking through the uh, remains of the earth elemental, you do find... Uh, Loot the body! We should probably start doing that before. I got so dis like out of it with my Monday campaign just due to the fact that every time we like loot the body, they got nothing. Like, it's not a thing. Yeah, you never know. Uh, no, you do, every you single find, body is. <laughs> you do find a yellow diamond in amongst the remains of the Earth Elemental. Yeah. Who here has cut into this thing? No one? Oh. Okay. Uh, are there any slices on its body? Yeah. I'm... I mean, there was a big slice from Gage's uh, Dawn Burner. I, I was There's trying to find out. There's been some away at some of the, the other, other people who have, like, uh, slashing type weapons, but they didn't seem to do... They did damage, but not as much as anybody with a magical weapon. I guess my real question is, it's the is it bleeding? Like, what's inside of it? Rock. Right. That makes sense. Rock elementals don't bleed, guys. Elementals don't bleed. 
Holly does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's not quite. She's elemental esque. She's Holly? An elemental lifting. Uh, uh, got element an elemental affinity. Who? Holly. She's a genie. Like affinity. <laughs> Well, a little different. Yeah. yeah. Genies aren't really like they they are, but they aren't elementals. They're like levels. <laughs> well, um, does anyone have any idea why this thing attacked us? It was just roaming. Because you threw a rock at its friends. <laughs> so now we're playing the blame game. Okay, Sarah, I understand. Uh, well, you I mean, said it they was... were just, they were just sitting there. <laughs> Didn't you say they were like protecting something? No, no, no. no. I, I asked if they were and he said it, it didn't look like it. Yeah. Why'd you let me throw the rock? You just did it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Did you really ask us if we like you should or should not do it? You're just like, I'm doing it. That's fair. You didn't say anything. You just threw a rock. The first one, you just looked like you were just like playing around with the thing, and then all of a sudden, you blink a stone at the thing, and you beamed it in the forehead, just like, Bink! and it's like that's rude, and so they started attacking. Uh, you mother pleasure. Let's you know. Should we move on then? The caucasity of this person. <laughs> I think that would be best. Well, now that the gargoyles are have left their perch, uh, just look around a little more intently just to see if there was something of interest. Nope, just pieces of the uh, earth elemental. I wonder where it came from. It hey, around. I mean, <laughs> uh. What's his name? Uh, my dragon's name. Borcat? Borcat. Hey, little fella, you feel like uh, right. climbing through that uh, tunnel? Hole? Looks down at the, the solid earth. Huh? Oh! <laughs> I thought there were vibrations and stuff. Yeah. It was moving through. It didn't make, no. it, it wasn't a, it didn't make a hole. No? Uh, it's just yeah, the Earth. Okay. I misread it's, everything. It's a feature called Earth Glide. I don't know nothing about elementals. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Same on you. Moving on. Well, let's proceed, gentlemen and lady. I would say Cyrus would have been, been like... Uh, it's an earth elemental. It can just glide through the earth. It doesn't actually make tunnels. Not in that verbiage. More Cyrus asked, but yeah, same idea. The message is similar. Mm -hmm. Wording is different. Yeah. I'm just DM that actually to... he punished my husband's moon druid because he kept turning into an earth elemental. So we ended up in a building with magical stone that would basically hurt him every time he did it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so this general area of light from bioluminescent fungi refracts from large crystal formations erupting from the floor, creating kaleidoscope colors in the surrounding walls. Crystals are tra semi-transparent, slightly distorted images seen through them. A statue of a gnome cowers near a crystal outgrowth, holding a broken crystal in it. I will remove the stone out of Lassiter's hands. What? <laughs> or he throws another rock at this thing. 
He bends down, pick up a rock. I'm like, no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no. Uh, Whack on hand. I will not be attacked like this. Uh, you do see some stairs that go up here. <clears throat> and down here. And these. Oh, no, they lead up. So just that uh, to give you an indication of which direction those stairs go. These lead up. Go this way? Up. Or up. Up. Uh-oh. Why don't we go talk to the gnome? Oh. Oh, I thought it was a statue. Okay, a statue of a gnome. A statue. Oh, a statue of a gnome. I misread. My apologies. All right, give me a perception check. That's why I'm like, I'm that's why I'm holding the rock out of his hand. Like, no, don't throw a rock at it. The only reason why I threw a rock at it was because you were questioning if they were gargoyles or not. So I just, you know, took care of it for you. All right. Uh, Lassiter. That is probably the most lifelike statue of a gnome you have ever seen. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, Rules of the dungeon. Shit. Guys, uh, is it me or is that statue moving? No, it's not moving. It just looks very lifelike. Any Does anyone speak numb? Why would I say no? Uh, I mean, what? I mean, that looks like a deep gnome. It looks very much like a deep gnome. Didn't we say anything, something about, like, Medusa thing? Uh, I was about to say, like, it doesn't, like, no one really, like, carved statues of scared people. And uh, he he takes a little better look at it and be like, um, yeah, he seems to be like the 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 crystal looks to be like he's trying to raise the crystal towards his face, as if to look through it. Maybe we shouldn't look through it, or look at like bring out our mirrors. To sort didn't, images. Didn't Lassiter get something to cure the stone effect? Or petrified effect? I think I did. Didn't you get like, like a spell or item or something last time? I think so. Yeah, a spell gem. And it has greater restoration. Oh. So, okay. do y'all want to try, I don't know, helping this guy? How many times can you use it? That's a wonderful question. Well, the spell gem can spell... be used once before it needs to be re- Old. Damn, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> it's like a, re- a spell gem is kind of like a reusable scroll. It's once per day. Once per day. Yeah, well, it's 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 once, and then you have to like cast the spell into it again to refill it. Oh, right. Okay. So, so yeah, while I scrolls don't will like burn up to. after you use it. This one basically doesn't burn up, but it's not usable until you like put the spell back. Right. So this is in fact right for right now a one time. You stink, so I I'd rather not. Too. Something like that? Oh, I thought that was a thing, but I think I was corrected and said that wasn't a thing or something like that. I don't know. No, Basilisk brought blood. Well, petrify. Do we have any? We bought some from the merchant. Okay. Cool beats. 
Are you going to use some uh, of the basilisk blood on this? I'm not. I want to use it. Uh, how Wait, would you... We... Would you inject it into them? Or just splash it, on. it onto them? Okay. Be sanctified. We have two vials of the blood. So, I'm not sure. Probably it's that means two usage. Maybe... You know, we should be smart with our usage of these things. I, I don't mean to sound like a jerk or anything, but, you know, the mission should probably come first. Well, once we've once we've subdued the Medusa, we can come back and try and help as many victims as we can. Wonderful idea. Um, in the meantime, I am curious... I will look through the little crystal that he's holding. Just to see if anything happens. Uh, it looks screw It looks pretty uh, transparent, but it does seem to like refract light a little bit. Make so it it's not like it. entirely clear, but you, you can pretty sleep, see clear through it. Um, give me an arch kind of check. Uh, you would suspect because he is putting up his eyes that it's supposed to help that he can still look, but possibly uh, help prevent the effects of a Medusa's gaze uh, that because of the refraction. Uh, you would say that, um, like, if you were looking at, at at someone through this, because it's a little obscure, make an attack against someone looking through it won't do anything. Uh, well, not necessarily help as versus avert, just averting your eyes, uh, but you can at least look at that direction, and uh, you're more resistant to the gaze of a, a Medusa. Hmm. So now that we know that we're possibly close, could I do a perception to hear for anything moving around near us again? Hear the sounds of battles seeming distantly off. That's about it. Does it seem any closer than it did before? No. Seems about the same distance. Hey. Did did y'all say these stairs go down? These stairs these? go down, these stairs go up, and these stairs go up. Okay. So Perspective-wise, this is lower than this. Okay. These two go down. So this goes down. This goes up. This goes down. Up, down. Okay. And then up. So the All right. One goes up, or goes down. Right one goes up. One's at the relative. Mm -hmm. North, <laughs> up for you guys. Where do you guys want to go? Uh, or that, I'll just tell everyone. Just everyone, stay sharp. There's, I still it's finding this this petrified man. It's it's making me a little shaky. Which way is the gnome looking? Uh, stay in this general direction. Like here. Ah. Uh, well, maybe he's looking in the direction of where the beast came from? I, I don't know. It's our only clue. I guess I wouldn't know what a Medusa... Well, I guess if it's 
snake woman. She would have like a uh, leave trucks like a giant snake. Could I perhaps survival check? Did we see if there's any kind of track in the ground? Did we ever figure out who all knows what Medusa is? You don't really see anything mm. of significance. But it's very rocky versus like dirt. And yes, I think we found out what it. Yeah, because we found out that it's. That's why we bought the mirrors to look look around corners and such. But yeah, we we know what it is. Okay, cool beans. Uh, well, since we're next to it, why don't we try up first? Okay. Over here. Oh, right. Wait. I thought it was down. No, this goes the up. Other one is this down. goes down. This goes down. My bad. All right, so you okay. go up. Yeah. Yep. The dormants in this chamber would would be more of a home in a drow city, spider themed tapestries, fine zerkwood statues, furniture, and racks of expensive clo clothing fill the area. All of it old and rotted. In the center of chamber, a female drow sits upon a zerkwood throne. She stands, eyes closed, and arms crossed, as if in medica meditation or prayer, while her white hair rise. You see it formed of his ale hissing nape. Watch it. Yeah. Close your eyes. What? Guess what, folks? Don saves or something? <laughs> Wisdom saves? Yeah. I don't know. Is it, is it a instant thing? I don't know. One of the things where I think they, they need to have better maps or more maps. This will be my first time facing a Medusa, I believe. Uh, let's see, how is this drawn out? This was our mission, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there were several missions we can go on, but we chose this one. Yeah. Because it had the best rewards. Standing, right? I think it had the best rewards, too. We're greedy. <laughs> I get home. Huh? No. I miss my wife. I with my. I miss my family. I don't have a wife nor family. Here you are. Uh, so you can see. Oh, I'd generic, rather not see. This is a generic one. Her eyes are currently closed as the, the snakes on her head go in your general direction. Needless to say, uh, you feel like she might be uh, uh, about to open her eyes. Quickly close my eyes. Close your eyes, make a wish. Oh, crap. Sorry. Feeling the our NPCs are going to be uh, <laughs> turned to stone shortly. 
I have them in the back. This is me and my crew of mat drones. Okay. Do I have everybody? Right. At mm -hmm. least there's a map. Mainly because the Blinden Stone map is a little too big. Is is this circle her throne here? Yeah. Okay. That's not what I want. Yeah, that's it. How do y'all feel about using darkness this match, this fight? Do what you gotta do. <laughs> You're gonna have disadvantage on saving throws anyways. <laughs> Depending on, uh, well, then most of us can't even see. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or disadvantage in attack rolls, I should say. You use darkness, then she can't see us either, hopefully. That's, that's what I was thinking, like, yeah. even the playing field, maybe, maybe the stoning won't affect us if she can't see us either. I don't One know. way to find out. <laughs> If that's your plan, then I might have a way to keep her there. Maybe, hopefully. I just don't. I, want to I have a way around the darkness. Yeah, I know. I know. Me and you can see through the darkness, but no, I won't be able to see. I, I have a way, but it's a like way around it. Like I won't personally be able to see. Oh, okay. It's a workaround. Yes. Okay. Syrah, uh, she has not opened her eyes yet, but the snakes seem to be uh, well aware that you're there. Y'all want me to cast Wall it of text on real quick? <laughs> Read my my wall of text spell. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Just have to be so big. Yeah, maybe I should cast it on her, and let whomever wants to get next to her go ahead and get in the ore. Let me just click this, and you can tell me. It's, Jesus. Yeah, my hand is my my Holy eyes are hand! blurring. <laughs> on. So when I cast it, can I try and grapple her? Same yeah. turn. Uh, uh, do I have a hand? Ooh. If not, I have another idea.
It's going to want to cast it and try and grapple her to keep her in place. If I can't do that in one turn, then I have another idea, but... Here we go. How big is Big Big B's hand? Ready, so I will is cast it that. Large? Is it a large? You could yes, a large hand. Okay. It's a large hand, and then you're trying to do a grasping hand, right? Yes. All right. The hand attempts to grapple a huge or smaller creature within five feet of it. You can use the hand strength score to resolve the grapple. Basically, you're gonna roll the uh, d20 and add its add plus eight. D20 plus eight. One d20 plus eight. Probably gonna succeed. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, Medusa, the Medusa is grappled. I will then perform my next brandish my blade in the flourish. Close my eyes and actually before I close my eyes, make my way around here just for a hell of it. Close them and yell out to Lassiter to try and blind the creature. And my turn. Holly. Medusa has not opened her eyes yet. All right. She's like facing towards us. Yes. Um, can you just go ahead, get behind her, you think she's down for that? Her eyes aren't open yet, so. I'm trying to hold her in place, so. Then reasonable. I guess we'll time to get angry. And try get a deck save. Fails. Of course, of course, when they fail, they take one. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna. Does she think she's better than everyone? Recklessly attack her. Great weapon master. Give her a suplex. So that's gonna be twenty two to hit. Twenty two hits. Um twenty seven for the first attack. Oh, 
Are we going to do the same thing over again? For a second. Yep. Um, does a 17 hit? That does hit. Okay. Another 21. Nice. Good damage, good damage. All right. After being hit twice... Her eyes open up, and she looks directly at Holly. I need a constitution saving throw from Holly, because she did not her eyes. 21. Save. Like you do. Yes. Well, when constitution is one of your proficiencies, I hope you... <laughs> Fortunately, you can always still roll low. Well, you can. That's what I said. I hope you. Hope you do. It's like, oh, I have a plus nine intelligence, and I get like ten. It's like, oh. Bronze is going to just get right in her face and uh, roar as he gets raised. And he closes his eyes. Ellis. We'll get up here to go. Is closing your eyes like reaction? Yeah. Just like your thing. Okay. Well, that's what come up. Kind of have her. Oh, don't answer. Yes, yeah, issue. Comes up. Kind of puts up her shield and covers her face. Lasseter, the Medusa is not looking in your direction at the moment. By the way, uh, moving to look in a different direction is not a a reaction or a specific type of action. So just know that. So oh, I was trying to make a circle with a fifteen foot radius. Um for darkness. However, I suck at roll 20. Okay. So, so you're trying to make a, a 15 foot radius uh, uh, circle? Yes. Okay, um, so 30 foot, foot diameter. Hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, when it's just like, and I I wanted her to be in it, but maybe give us fighting space. Like well, she's, she's in it, we won't be able. To, we'll have disadvantage on attacks against her. Yeah, that's true. Maybe and not looking at her and attacking her will be a disadvantage. So it having darkness just means that people who are outside don't have to avert their eyes, but they can't see her anyways, which means that but they're still have disadvantage because they can't see them to do. And if you roll a one, you might hit somebody else. There you so, up to you. I mean you do you, you boo. Okay. I'm gonna have it. Um, so that people can retreat inside of it, maybe. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Do you put, uh, or do you want to uh, even use it? 
You don't have to. I'm gonna use it. I already okay. chose to use it. Um, I lied. I'm not using it. Yeah. LG <laughs> Blast. There's a circle here as a template for a 30 foot, foot, uh, or a 15 foot radius sphere. If anybody needs it. You said she's not looking at me. She is currently not looking at you. Okay. Well, at the uh... at the current moment. Um, I. You can avert your gaze and just start firing off Eldritch Blast if you want to, but you know, up to you. You're also I mean, like, I... a little low, so because remember, this is Whoa. stairs. This is climbing up about uh thirty feet, so uh, you, you you're like seeing like feet. <laughs> That's <laughs> twenty five, uh, and. I will shoot off a Elgish Blast. Um, okay. I don't think I have to not look at her if she's not looking at me, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, initiative. she could look at you. Yeah. You her. That's uh, 18 for the first shot that'll hit roll damage 10 all right then her head whips around looks directly at you and Fuck. uh i need you rolling a constitution save through this is the end oh call awesome okay so we know how that you works save. okay Go ahead. You got another bolt, right? Oh, I'm afraid now. He's so already, so. already looking at you. So yeah. Is that like it's going to do another trick? Oh, that's a nat one. Yeah, it totally, exactly. totally frightens you. Uh, but nat one, it, boom, just completely immense. Now that she's looking, do you, do you avert your gaze now that she's looking in your direction? Yes. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Good turn. Trying to sneak up the steps. Do it. Then throw a dagger. That's Medusa. Uh, great roll. That'll hit. He's 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 basically like he climbed up the steps but stayed really low, and, and then he just kind of like. Kind of gave a little gauge, like he's not actually looking, but he tries to get context clues, and he just like flicks a, da a dagger above, <laughs> right in front of the bottom of the steps, and he hits the Medusa. He actually has to physically look at you. Okay. Yeah, so I he, thought he, not he's not actually looking at. It, he's not looking at her, so she, he can't see her eyes or anything. But. Also, the Medusa, he was sitting from the Medusa, so he gets sneak attack. Also, people are within five feet of him. Uh, seems to do some major damage to her ankle. She looks toward the steps, and all she sees are, are, is like the top of a gnome head. All right. Crad, you see, you see your friends uh, run up the steps. You see Jim Jim Jar like kind of crawl up the steps and then flick a dagger over <laughs> over the over the top of the steps. I'm kind of gonna do the similar thing and just like slowly get up here, but keeping low and all. All right, roll me a stealth check. 
Um, there's a little was... steam heat that, for some reason, you're pretty sure the magician probably probably oh, removing up there. Just uh, you can't see her. <laughs> uh, so, like seeing that she's there, knowing the location, and everything. I'll we'll close my eyes, mm-hmm. and then right here, I'm gonna cast at fifth level. Summon Draconic Spirit. Ooh. Uh, you're gonna be, uh, chromatic. White. But, like, a white version of Thimbachar. And it's a large dragon, right? Yes. Large dragon, uh, corporeal spirit. Large, yeah, large dragon, who is? Just pretend he's white. Yeah. <laughs> this corporeal form. Okay. Uh, he's going. I'm going to command him to close his eyes. He closes his eyes. He has blind sight. To 30 feet. So, everything's hunky dory. Mm-hmm. He knows where she is. Uh, he gets two wrens and a breath weapon for each uh, go around. Because he gets a number of ren attacks equal to half the spell's level rounded down, and it uses breath weapon for multi attack. So, two wrens and then a breath weapon. Go for it. So, my spell attack modifier. So, Polish let's roll. 1d20 plus 5. Hell it. Alright. And then, what? What damage type are you resistance resistant to? Um, so it's a white. So I gain temper. I gain resistance while he's here for cold. Um, one d six plus nine. Oh. Helps. So, 13 piercing for the first one. Good buddy. Um, by the way, sorry to interrupt, but mm-hmm. is the Medusa on the turn order? Doesn't look like that. Oops. <laughs> Where she may have been working. Sorry, I'm just like... Where's her turn? <laughs> Alright, well, she'll go after Karad this round. Although I'm not oh. sure she's going to make it. But anyways, continue. So, an 8 won't hit, right? An 8 won't hit. But then... Moving... Oh, um, have... So, Cone... You yeah, Cone it, like... Uh, so it avoids Ront and, and Holly? Yeah. Um, so then I need a deck save. She fails. Ten cold damage. She's not looking too hot. She's gonna go. (laughs) She's looking cold. Can attack Holly? Who attack recklessly, right? Yep. Alright. Her the snakes on the head uh snap at her. Um assuming that misses. Thirteen. What? Oh thirteen, yes. Uh, and she'll start slashing her short sword a twenty one. Uh that hits, she'll take three. Mm-hmm. 
And crits. So how you'll take really four. Gage, kind of like here over. See the Medusa's kind of facing away from her. Kind of make a dash. Uh, up here. Gonna burn his eyes just in case. Um, it makes a straight roll. Because he's flanking with Holly. One. Right. Fourteen. And attack. Okay, so just cause he's gonna pop in uh, his uh, echo over here. Actually, he's gonna pop the echo down here. We'll say the hands of the echo here. By the way, he's crossing with Ront. He's also gonna make an attack with the echo when he unleashes the carnation. Third attack. Yeah, in oh, that should actually be an advantage. Because the echo is not a birdie in its eyes, but it misses. And then full of birdie claws. And Sterendal will come up here and kind of keep his eyes down and away from the Medusa. The Medusa says it's not looking too hot. And she can't move. Because she's being grappled by a big old hand. Lyra? Being manhandled. <laughs> Well, seeing as she's not doing well, well, I don't want to look at her, but since I've got her in my hold, with a bonus action, I can squeeze her. So... eighty six plus 9. 12. And... Why not? One, two, th well, I guess I can't move yet. I'll open my eyes to see what's going on. Because <laughs> I hear dragons and shouts and spells. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> Come on, don't do that. Okay. Uh, which way is she currently looking? Towards uh, Holly, I think. Uh, actually, she's looking towards the gauge. Ah. Two, three. Uh, seeing a slight opening, I will use my action for okay, well, firebolt. I just, yeah, I just want to verify them. Cool. All right. So well, here's what happens. Uh, actually, uh, Cyra, how do you want to do this? Your hand crushes. The hand it crushes Medusa. So describe it. 
How does it crush the Medusa? So the whole time it's just squeezing on her and squeezing on her. And like as the rounds keep going on, you just see her like kind of tightening up, tightening up. She's swinging her sword around at Gage and Holly, trying to do whatever she can at them. But the force is just too much, and finally it just cracks her rib cage, and her whole chest just implodes on her. She, she kind of slumps over in this arcane hand, and her, the snakes on her head just kind of droop down. Do the uh, snakes, like, uh, spit blood a little? Is that a thing? <laughs> she'll, she'll, like, cough up some blood, and some blood also comes from the mouth of the snake. Okay. Yeah. So all this, all this nastiness is just dripping between my arcane hand, and I'm like, ew, gross, and dispel it. No, <laughs> you just dispel no. it. Does it just, like, let go, and then kind of, like, shake itself? <laughs> <laughs> like, ew. And then you're like, oh, I didn't need to do that. It's just this with it. And well then, uh, is it over? <laughs> I'll look. It's over. Nice, cool. Yeah, Cyrus is over. Everyone, it's safe. I think it comes back to life. Ah, hold up. Ah. Uh, Mission success. Well, let's uh, take some time to look around the room and see what she was. She kind of throned herself in here. I mean, she yeah, was what, literally on a throne. What is she the queen or king of? Like, does does she look like she has a stash anywhere? Uh, take some time to look around. You find that there are five. There are five dresses on uh, uh, the Medusas that uh, around the room that are made of uh, looks like spider silk, probably shaped by draw magic. Both brand. I'm gonna fetch a, fetch a uh, decent price down here. A new, it's the new loft collection. Nice. Uh, uh, if you guys don't mind, I would like to uh, search her body. Maybe she has pockets or something. What's left of it, at least. Uh, it doesn't seem like she has much. Just a longbow and some arrows and a short sword. Do any of those items look special, magical, or something? Nope. Cool. Like uh, I have a she, short she, she, sword. Her features are very drow esque. Can I use my short sword to uh, cut her head off? Uh, I use my short sword. Axe if you want to. Eh, I don't want to bother her. She seems a bit. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I'm gonna use the sword to cut its head off. And all right, ask give me Ron. a. Uh... Just give me a straight straight. Check. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Also, you also have a boyfriend with. There you go. Yeah, not twenty. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nineteen. So you go up and just be like, "Shut!" It comes right off. Apparently, nice. you hit right at the point where you right, right between a vertebrae to separate it. Uh, for so proof. And uh, who has the? Do we have a bag of holding? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You have it. Uh, you want to put this in there? Maybe we should yeah. uh, wrap it up. It's and... just like dripping a black acre coming from it. There's nothing valuable in our bag. 
Hey, Vron, you want to taste this? Ew. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Too far? Not your thing? Okay. No. No blood play. Got it. How about before we just dump a bloody head into our sack of goods? Um, yeah, I, have I was a, thinking we should wrap it. But... Yeah, I have a, I'll have I have a bedroll. I'm willing to, to give up if I can at least curl her head up in there so it doesn't bleed all over our stuff. I'm fine with that. At least it'll help soak up some of the gore. I think we've uh, accomplished what we came to do, but I'm still curious about these these battle, the sounds of battle that have been echoing through the halls or the walls. It's like something's being played out over and over, but we don't seem to get any closer to it. I don't hear it. Maybe it's one of those things where it's uh, a past battle and it was so great that uh the battle echoes throughout the tunnels forever we've already come across one ghost maybe it's they're just reenacting the battle that that happened here years and years ago oh i was kidding well not a bad idea actually Nice. Uh, maybe would... we should ask the ghost about it. Well, she ran off, but I was going to ask Jim Jar since he is a citizen here. Since we know that there were civilizations here that were driven off in battle and everything, so... Well, I mean, uh, so he has a little history less about Ben Blingenstone uh, centuries ago. Uh, we were attacked by the drow. And um, they it. did a pretty good job about it. And it's just until recently when we came back to reclaim Blingenstone. People in Gantakwim helped us out um, when we when we fled. Some of us just wanted to come back. So here we are. What if they attack again? I mean, that's one of the reasons why we got all the extra security. Yeah. You think y'all have a shot this time? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen any problem, problem uh, since we got here, so. Maybe oh, they're doing the something right now. The city seemed pretty secure when we approached. I mean, they wouldn't let us in without without knowing you, at least. Yeah, but we were kind. We were friends. Right. They friends. didn't know that. I mean, <laughs> and also, like, drow. There's no drow among us right now. For now. Probably would not have trusted us if we had, like, Sarahs with us. We should probably get this head back, collect our reward. Yeah. Unless y'all want to keep on looking around. We're here. We can at least finish exploring, just out of curiosity. Okay. I mean, there was nothing pressing that I can think about. Y'all want to go check out this uh, hall or pass? The downstairs? Sure. I think. Yep. Are we here? Come over there. Eight. We have about like three or five minutes left. But very, very quick. One, four, five. One second. Okay. Let me refresh my memory. Okay. Just a few seconds.
All right. See, I told you that one would be really quick. I really need a refresh. Okay, cool. All right. We are going come down. down. As you come down the steps. We are jumped by two Medusas. No. Three. Five. Are you still uh, concentrating on your Draconic Spirit? Um, after I give him a little scratch on the chin, I'll send him away. Okay, cool. I look at, uh, poor cat and say, why can't you be that big? Are you shaming him? He looks at you like, really? <laughs> you just Megan. shame poor cat? He's nagging his familiar. Wow. All the time. <laughs> it's a love hate relationship between us. Mostly hate, Cyrus. But... Cyrus summons Sova on her shoulder and just gives her like a little scritches on her on her back. <laughs> You're perfect just the way you are, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's not my familiar anyway, so. He is your yeah. friend. Not he a cool. He has a very uh, uh, personality that's not necessary. Imagine trying to unflood your house with tweezers. Ouch. Is this path all of a sudden blocked? I'm working on something. No. Lasser doesn't know about it, but would really like to know what that stone thing is. That rock. Alright. So you get on to, to a cave. And uh, you see uh, in kind of like a some sort of formation, you see what looks to be statues of drow. You said drow? Oh, shit. Do these look lifelike? Like they are a poor gnome that we found? Or is this actual statue? Uh, do you go... You're still on the steps. Do you go get a better look? Sure. Okay, as you step into the statue, you see a couple of them... Uh... You see, like, the first row move. Oh, fuck that. Sorry, oh. you sure you want to go in there? Sorry. 
So as I step a little closer, they begin to move, like, like in a like a menacing roll. way, or just kind of like in your general yep. direction. They Ooh. move towards her, or just looks towards her. They see. They seem to like. Uh... They seem They're to all... animate for ba a lack of a better, better word, and they seem to like their head focus towards you in the. I will move just to kind of test it. I'm going to move like a little bit this way. Are they all just kind of like turning their heads watching me? Alright, does anybody do anything else during this? Like, we, I, I'm not going to initiate anything until... I'm going to back away. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of just saying where I am. I'm going to say, like... Uh... But just preparing to cast whatever, just in case. So, like... Where there were... Across the side. So as soon as we walked in, or as soon as, I guess, because I was investigating, I guess, they kind of turned to look at me. Uh, they do seem that they may be, it may head in your direction. And when I moved over here, did they kind of just like follow me? They were like with their... following you, yep. Alright, Any, so is anybody doing anything else before we, because they're like last in order. So I'm just letting this be an open initiative of one thing that each of you can do. So does Holly do anything? Just kind of just gets ready. Runt will be like, oh no. Uh, Lasseter. I backed away. Back. Elvis, uh, will be like, I don't know if this is good. Jim Garda goes, um, oh, that's kind of strange. And, you know, it would be nice not having drow statues and bling them stone. Crad? Um, I'm going to quickly, uh, use up seven sorcery points. To get my fifth level spell slot back. Okay. Oh. I have a feeling something might be able to become really useful really quick. Um. All right. <clears throat> Gage just just readies himself, and then at you. Yeah. Right up. Oh fuck! He was the first one in the room. Oh god! Do you? Actually, oh because no! Because there's other people who are kind of in the room here. I didn't do anything to you? Drow, no discrimination. Just kill him. All right. First drow statue gets Syra. Uh, let me know. Uh... Ambassador, get your rock ready. <laughs> All right. That's the joke. Ambassador and his rock. That was, that was oh, that, that wasn't a joke. Okay. No, it's the new joke. Syra, the sixty-eight oh, year. Okay, I understand. It's not. All right. Makes another attack. Uh, twenty-one. I'm assuming hits you. Four. Not when I use my reaction to shield. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, next to you, uh, misses, uh, and then misses, uh, one more 23, does that hit you with the shield? That will finally hit me. Okay, two five bludgeoning damage, and one last 19, which misses because you have shielded. So, five, one, two, three, Holly will four, get five. an attack on her, nine will miss, and... 13, I'm assuming Mrs. Holly. Yep. Um, Gage is going to get missed. And missed. 
Do these count as constructs? Um, you can arcana check that on your turn. Okay. Will he use up an action? No. Cool. That would be cool. Okay. Um, that's miss. And that's. Alright. Flyra, you are surrounded by cross factions. Well, she's feeling a bit miffed because, like, what did I do against you? <laughs> you were the first one in the room. Step towards us, man. They didn't, oh, at least they didn't all go towards you. It's pretty True. much a uh, wall constellation. No more. Let's see. Do I want to use this? I've never used this yet. You make a yada yada yada. yada. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. I don't think my divine you. Sure, why not? I've I've had this spell forever and I've never used it. So with my bonus action, instead of doing my blade thing, what I should have done? Eh, eh, fuck it. Bonus action. I shall pass at level four. Spirit Shroud. So, I will choose Radiant Damage. And I will attack the one to the center of me. In front of me. Okay. Here. Normal hits. Or 14. 14. These things seem to be pretty solid stone. Even with a magic weapon? I mean, a miss is a miss. Miss, okay. And then regular rapier. And stone miss. Okay. That's it. Alright. Holly! Well, feel like I'm only allowed to get angry so many times a day. I feel like this is one of those times to use the last one. We're gonna get angry. Okay. Um, this one. Oops. This one. I need a deck save. Fail. Hey, max damage! Six Yay. lightning. And we're gonna do our normal him ha reckless um great weapon. So a twenty one does that hit? A twenty one does hit. Ooh, max damage, so twenty nine damage. 29 damage. Crumbles to the ground. I'm going to just move this off to the side. And then we do the next one on that. Same him ha. Reckless. Great weapon. Um, That'll hit. <laughs> yeah. Even with, yeah, 22. Another max damage. All right. Takes a good chunk out of that one. Anything else? That's all. All right. All right. I'll also rage. Good one. Uh, he'll go right the class.
Natural 20. Oh, not doing this right. That was 15. Doing that on the same one that uh, Holly did. Crushing it. Again, moving it off the, for reason. Uh, for the heck of it, he's going to uh, frenzy. Oh, wait a minute. He bugs that. Oh, he's not here. Anyways, he, I'm, I'm going to just say he moved over here. <laughs> he's going to come over here. He's going to frenzy and make a... Uh, oh, he already did a bonus action, so he's not going to frenzy this round. Never mind. Yep. Uh, but yeah, he'll... Lasseter! Uh... You can really, from where you are, you could really only see the one next to Gage. Uh... This one? Maybe barely see the one, one of the ones next to Syra, but got a lot of cover. If I moved up, could I see this one? Yes. Yes, you could. Uh, I'll just blast. I'm not five feet. Yeah. Yeah, you're one of the five feet away. Yeah, you got enough room. Yeah. Okay. That's the wrong tap. Uh, I'll just blast. Oh, I, like I did it. Awesome. 20. Oh, okay. Um, 11 damage. Uh, I guess I'll send another one. His way. This one will miss, I assume. First one Four has enough force to do some damage. The next one uh, seems like a little pittant, apparently. Uh, and... Has anyone been hurt? No. We're all good. Well, uh, Holly's still a little hurt. Uh oh. Um, I will send a battle, but <laughs> healing battle, word but... her way, I think. Okay. Yeah. Healing word is a bonus action. Uh, that's mm -hmm. gonna be... I think I'm gonna use my pact. Uh, healing word... 22. Holly gets uh, 22 points of healing. She's healing. She needed it. That is my turn. That's going to come up here. And do a little help out with the uh, forward with the stage. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, do nine points of damage. Jar. Come over here, applause. Make an attack with the short sword. Actually. Jar will come over here. My short sword. Attack. Good thing he uh, did that, but uh, he still missed. Actually, he hit, but it didn't hit hard enough. Crad. All right. Uh, it's gonna get you really see. useful. Yeah, you can probably see both of these because you're kind of in the center. You can see your, this one and this one. Can I tell that there's stuff back here? Uh, yeah. 
that you can see in the room. That's what, that's what I'm going for. I'll say that there, it, it doesn't say it in here, but I'm, I'm just going to say for some reason there's like little like dim, dim like continual flames or something like that. Uh, I also have chamber, lighten it up a little bit. You got dark vision. There you go. Uh, I, have, I have 120 feet, so. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, you can tell they're there. They do not, don't seem to be doing anything. But everyone here seems to be doing stuff. Similar statues there and here, so educated guess. Gonna gonna bring him back out. Okay. Same chill chiller. It's gonna be oriented right here. So we're gonna do like yeah, like Right here. Large. Right here. Yeah. So we're gonna do first the breath weapon. So going to thirty out. Okay, so you uh, probably get like a good chunk, a nice chunk. Yeah, let's see. Here. Well, if we. Uh... Yeah, so like... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Yeah, so this one, these three, and then... These like five. These five. Yeah. So... DC 17, deck save. Alright, I'm just gonna do one for all of them. That's fine. They all fail. Okay. Well, wow. That, that's a whopping two damage to all of them. Uh, roll me another d6. Because it's two d6 now. Oh. So seven. Seven. Not a hit in two. Every Better. little bit. Every little bit helps. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, it's only ever two d6. It never goes up, so... And then we're going to claw uh, rend attack this person right here. So wow, just think a ten misses. Yeah, it's all this. Oh, you get two of those though. Same thing. Things seem, seem to be tough. Even for a big old draconic spirit. Okay. Anyways, I was doing that. It's, my, it's plus five, so. Um, that's going to be all. I can't quick and cast. Okay. Gage. Well, and Gage. Uh-huh. For uh -huh. the one in front of him. Is he getting advantage? Does Jim Jar. That's a 21. The damage. And he got a second attack. I should have done that. Oh well. I think I did something stupid. Ah! I've just done a bit more. Alright. Back to the statues. Yeah. Oh! I didn't sort it correctly. Oh well. The statues already went. There we go. Now it's sorted correctly. Lyra. Well, since she got smacked around last time, she will once again flourish her blade, mm -hmm. increasing her AC because that hurts. Mm -hmm. And I'm squishy and a wizard. 
So let's try that again. We'll attack the center one. Okay. 18. Hit. So he'll take 10 piercing, 5 fire, and my f uh, green flame will leap over and do 10 damage to this one. Ooh, and this one in the middle takes an additional 2d8 radiant because of spirit shroud. I have more damage on that one. And attack the center one again. Oh, nice. Damn. For ten more piercing. Uh, you seem to be chipping uh, away a bit quite well. It's action, bonus action. Okay, that's it. Holly. Going. Go ahead. Move here. Chip at that one. Yep. Usual. Imhaz. Reckless. Great weapon. So, a 21. I'll hit. Twenty-three damage. Twenty-three damage. Step right up. Don't be shy. Gonna do this a second time. Does a seventeen hit? Nope. Okay. Got thrown uh -huh. off. Didn't expect that first one to go. Go. So she's like, ah. ah! <laughs> And then bonus action, I'm going to need uh, this one then to make a deck save. Gets a little it. angry. Fail? Yeah, uh, fails. Okay. Six. Money. Uh, she did. She, she. Okay, so she she goes and she goes, tink, and it doesn't seem to do anything. And she gets really angry and just this electricity goes shooting through her axe and into it and, and it crumbles. I approve. Front, I'm gonna come over here, take a whack. Uh, actually, I'm gonna over here so you can get it. So you could wreck with it. Uh, that'll hit. Can you kill it? Uh, gonna run over here and realize he can't make it all. Lasser. Alright, uh, if I move right here, can I see it? Mm hmm I'll just blast. As soon as I get there. I don't know why I wasn't. 24? Hit? Alright. 11 damage. Uh, I'll hit it again. Maybe one. That's nope. a no. It's always a second shot. It was... uh... These seem to be kind of tough creatures because you're actually hitting it. It's just the, the, the force behind it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Has anyone else gotten hit since my last turn? Not really. Oh, okay. I mean, uh... Cyrus, Cyrus got in a little bit dinged, but... Uh... Comparatively speaking, I think Holly's still low. Yeah. But she also has a lot more health. Um, I mean, up to you. However, like, six of one, half a dozen of other, really. What? If, if the oh, number really? of seen her right. 
Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm um, I'm well protected. <laughs> well, I will go ahead and cast another healing word on Syra. Not Syra. Um, Holly. Holly. Um, and so now remember how to do things again. So sorry. Run also is is hurt a little bit, but is he missing more health than Holly? Mm, no, Holly's Holly's missing. Holly gets this. But First she level. also has a lot more health than Ron has. Twelve full healing. Yeah. Uh, twelve. No, oh, well, yeah. yeah. That is my turn. Do I use the slot? Alright. Brown statue uh, attacks uh, Cyra again. 22. Once again, I will shield. Uh, 23. You have to beat a 27 right now. Oh, blade singing and in shield. Yes. All right. So that that is just dings off the shield. Tries to slam. See where are we? Okay. When the wizard is tired of being hit. Oomp. 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 Okay. Oh. Uh. So uh, our mini uh white. Embertrod is being attacked by five statues. What's the what's uh, the spirits AC? Uh, nineteen. Here. Uh, take six damage. Okay. Uh, miss on the second one. Uh, another six. Okay. Uh, miss. Another, uh, no witness. Uh, 19? Was it? Yeah. Uh, so 6. Miss. 18. Ooh, crit. That's, uh, 12 points of damage there. 18, so 30. Uh, let's see. How many, how many attacks have I? 1. Two more. Uh, miss. And... It accidentally smacks the one next to it. Alright. That's those turns. Oh, miss. Uh, scene... The Draconic Experience being attacked by a few more statues being animated. Uh, Elvis is going to come over here and try to attack this one. And this is... Uh, Jimjar. Oh, help. Hello? Oh, sorry. He will hit. And he gets stink attack because somebody's within five feet of it. Damage. Brad! Your drinking uh, experience is surrounded. Come up here. I'm gonna put my hand up. Have the five put like five little flames come down up, slam it down on the ground, and all five of these are going to get one pillar each of the Budigas, uh, uh web of fire. Uh, but need next right. Uh, we'll go clockwise from this one. Fail. 
pass. Uh, speed. Fail. Fail. Oh. Fail. All right. So the um, all of them take thirty-one, except for the one that passed will take fifteen. Jim Jar and all the sees this column of fire go over it and they just kind of flinch back. <laughs> uh, that's, all I, that's all I can do. Uh, it doesn't take a bonus action or anything to. Oh, it, it goes on my turn. Sorry. Oh. I forget. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rend this one. Okay. Not looking good. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. Second time. Or, whoops. That's gonna miss. Yeah. Misses. Gonna. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, risk it. Uh, go up the air, ten feet. Heard. So. It's a uh, two opportunity attack. <laughs> Miss and oh, here's a crit. So that's twelve. All right, he's still up. Okay. Barely, but he's still up. And then he's going to uh, Kona uh, breath weapon this way. That'd be the five of those. Like, because this one looks like it's just getting in. When? So we got ten, twenty. Yeah, that hit that one. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll save. Okay. So more deck saves. Right. Fail. 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 It was just one group. So then, yes, yeah, six more fire damage or uh, cold. They got everything. That's it. Cool. Gage. Pop over here. Take wipe this guy. Now light. Points of damage and kills it. Yeah. Did his full movement. So, see. Attack anything else? Yep, that's it. That's all he's got. Sir. Do, 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 do. All right, so seeing the draconic spirit starting to whittle down some of the back background here, 
She's going to start to run past, and as she passes Holly and Ron, she'll tell them, I'll leave this one to you. And she'll just take the attack of opportunity. Why not? Take four? Uh, unless Twenty still doesn't nope. hit you. Yeah. Well, now that with my blade singing, I'm at 22. Okay, cool. So she'll, for flavor, duck under the swing, maneuver around. And I think that should be bigger. That's twenty by twenty, right? Uh hmm. Light adjustment? 20 foot radius. Okay. okay. Well, that's right. So, you do like here? Yeah, you get okay. one, two, three, four, five. And what are you doing? He is going to. There you go. Look at these. I'll get these. These five. She will pluck two pearl, two pearls off of her necklace, toss it into the center, and she will cast Fireball with 98. 16 deck save. So, because the necklace is a lower DC, it's a 15, so they take half, so 15 damage. Again, every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Don't think I can do anything else with my bonus at the moment. Blade singing. That is everything. Okay. What's the name of that one spell, the Naruto spell? Uh, still wind strike. Still wind yep. strike. Yeah. Ah, was yep. right. I still have it. Right, and that's it. That was, that's it. All right, Holly. Right here. Be normal. I was gonna say, Ron, take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was there. Because Holly would not leave it to someone else. So we're gonna go here. Attack that one. Normal bits and bobs. Yeah. A 19? 19? Yeah. Why is it saying 16? Oh, it's a 16. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah, no, it's going to be less than that. It's going to be a miss. I'm doing the great weapon I mean, master. Even at 16, it's a miss. Yeah. That's a natural 20. Okay. Yeah, that'll hit. With great weapon master and all, and then we get. You get brutal critical right at this point. Yep, tsunami critical. I can't even remember what I what I did for that. Yeah, same. So four times per day, when you score critical hit, you may choose to have your attack deal cold damage instead of normal damage type, and the target speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. In addition, they must succeed on a DC 16 saving throw, or be knocked prone. So, yeah, I get brutal critical, I get tsunami critical. So, let's... 
So that's just regular damage. So that's a... So for 16. Sixteen, twenty-seven, thirty-seven cold damage. That was five feet. And then I should be able to get... I think you got thirty-five more? Yeah. That was just... Yeah, that that's it. bonus action? Not yet. So, bonus action on this one, DC. Passes. But she takes, they take half, so one. Okay. Again, every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. We got quite a bit. <laughs> okay, option. We're, we're at normal time. Do you want to continue the fight? We got a few more things, and I assume you guys that they continue in. Yeah, yeah. So it's take I, a little bit, so... It's kind of late for me. That is okay I, when we pick up. We will continue this fight in two weeks. Thank you okay. everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bears of Dragons. Bye-bye, have a good night, kids. Bye-bye.